Hello and welcome back to Joe Schaefer Flyfishing.com. I'm Joe Schaefer. Today I'm going to show you how to tie up a standard dry dropper rig here. First off, we'll start out with our fly line. And we're going to take our leader. Typically on dry dropper rigs, I use a 9 foot leader. This is a cut down leader here just so I, for the purposes of demonstration. But we'll start off with our loop to loop connection. We'll put the loop of the leader over the fly line. And then we'll come back through with the end of the leader, which creates the loop to loop connection right there. Then off of that leader, we're going to tie a tippet section. And that tippet section is usually, I typically do two to three feet of tippet for purposes of demonstration here I'm going to shorten that up but I will attach two to three feet of tippet to the end of that leader and that's a starting out point you could go longer if you're fishing bigger water things like that but all I do is I'm going to do a quick surgeon's knot and we're going to put both of those tag ends through and these videos for the knots are on my site. We'll tighten those down. You can check out those other videos for the knots that I use. We're going to cut off those tag ends. And there we have our leader to tippet connection here. <clears throat> Next up, we're going to attach our first fly. I typically use a bigger dry fly because I like to put on uh, some heavier droppers below so they get down. So in this dry dropper setup, I'm going to use a, just a chubby Chernobyl, a big chubby Chernobyl. And all I do for that is I come in here, come through the eyelet. I'm using some thicker line here so you guys can see the attachments easier. going to take off this tag end a little bit it's a little thick that's one good tip too if you got a little burr at the end sometimes these things won't pop through the eyelet there we go so we'll attach our first fly I use a Duncan loop or a uni knot to attach that first fly, all I'll do is go through a couple times here. We'll tie, make sure you trim the tag end. I trim them pretty close on my dry dropper rig so it doesn't catch any reflection in the water. So that's our first fly. Next, off of that, for my dropper, I use quite a length of tippet to drop this. I start off at two feet and work my way down from there. On this, I'm going to make a little dropper loop. And I'm going to attach that to the bend of the hook on my dry fly. Just like that, I'm going to attach it to the hook. Cut the tag end. Then I'll come to the end of that here. And then we'll attach our weighted nymph. Now on this you can also use an unweighted nymph and just have this sitting in the surface film below your uh, dry fly here. But I like to use typically a tungsten beaded nymph for one that's weighted on the inside just so it gets down in the water column a little bit as I'm fishing these things. So I will attach that. This is one of my favorite ways to fish this dry dropper setup. It's a very effective technique for searching, looking for fish. Cut off the tag in there. 
and that's the dry dropper setup. So we start off with our just in as we review here, we're going to start off with our leader connection to the fly line. We're going to come down to the end of the leader. We're going to put a knot right here. Our surgeon's knot to attach our tippet section. Our tippet section is going to go to our first fly here. And then we're going to drop two to three feet of tippet below that to our second fly right here. That's the dry, the dry dropper connection leader setup that I use when I'm out on the water, when I'm out guiding. This is the standard setup. Thank you for watching Joe Schaefer Fly Fishing. Please subscribe. Have a great day.